hello world uh, today I'm going to show you how to install and crack the official Vodafone um, client application for the K3770Z uh, that's made by ZTE Corporation this is the software you get with your Vodafone data stick so first you need to download this application the Vodafone Mobile Broadband 4.07.00.00 uh, I will be uploading it on my site uh, so you can direct, download directly from there I found it after much uh, searching so to avoid that on your part you can download it directly from my site so first you need to double click on this and install the application now this this is already installed in my system so I'll skip this step it's simple next 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 so you just double click on it uh, the installer will pop up and you can just simply install the application once that is done you need to pop in your data card so I'm going to do that now. I have just popped in my data card. It will take some time for the data card to be detected on your system. So let's just wait for that. There you go. It has been detected. So it will just uh, flicker for one, uh, flicker one or two times, and then it will detect a signal from your uh, uh, data card. Uh, now, if you're using a SIM other than Vodafone. Uh, it will uh, display a message that your SIM is not recognized since it recognizes only Vodafone SIMs. So, as you can see, there you go. When my device is detected and is searching for a network, depending on where you are, this uh, search will take some time uh, to detect the network. Uh, your light will obviously turn green. There you go. Uh, it is detected at 3G network in my area. Now, as you can see, it will display a message that the SIM is not recognized since you're using a SIM other than a Vodafone SIM. We just click ok on the message and remove it now go to connections uh, go to mobile connections uh, this place will be empty so you need to just click on this i am using reliance sim so i am just going to put in reliance you can put in any name doesn't matter it doesn't have to be reliance you go to apn put in the, your apn name for reliance it's smartnet and you can put in uh, the authentication details if it is required in my case it is not required so i'll just skip this step there you go it's uh, already has been put in you just hit on connect so it will just open the mobile connection <coughs> it will connect to the network it will just take a second or two so you just need to be patient so there you go it's connecting to the 3g network the network is fluctuating a bit but yeah it's connecting now so as you can see i'm also connected to my wi-fi so I, for the time being i'm going to just shut off my wi-fi there you go, the Wi-Fi is off. It's on my mobile connection now, so I'm just going to uh, hit open the browser. Uh, type in google.com. There you go. My Google is opening just fine. You can check on the news or not. So that was really simple, as you can see. Uh, nothing much to it. When you disconnect, just click on disconnect, it will be disconnected for the connection and that's about it now when you uh, rest, when you put your device again this portion might disappear you might have to enter uh, the APN name again but that's uh, not too much of a trouble if you are if you know what you're doing and that's about it thank you for watching this tutorial hope to see you soon